and leave your feelings at the door because you're going to need them on your way out. beautiful people how y'all feeling how y'all doing what's going on welcome back or welcome it is a friday night okay which means it is vlogmas day number four and we are here today to do a holiday tag which is basically just christmas look christmas questions with me that are christmas themed so i'm really excited i just picked a random article that has 40 christmas questions why am i having such a hard time saying christmas in a sentence it has 40 christmas questions that i have no idea what they are i'm just like we're just gonna wing it okay i done been to work it's been a long week we're here on friday are y'all sick of seeing my face yet you know i don't answer that because the way i'm feeling right now i don't think i can handle it but let's get into it all right so hopefully i don't be like the ghost of christmas past first question is who is your favorite person to buy presents for and that's a hard question. I don't think I have a particular favorite. I will say the hardest person for me to shop for is my father because he's always that person who says he never wants anything. But then if you were to never get him anything, he'd be like, why didn't you get me something? So it's like, how do you get someone something who already has everything or who's extremely picky about what they want? Number two, what kind of food did you leave for Santa when you were little? Well, my mother had a tradition with me and my brothers when we were little that we would actually make cookies for Santa. So we actually left cookies and milk for Santa Claus. Number three, when you don't like a present, are you honest or do you pretend to like it? <laughs> Y'all don't come for me, okay? I pretend like I like the present because someone went out of their way to get me a gift and like i feel like that's not the christmas spirit to be like i ain't asked for that i don't like that like i don't know i'll act like i like it and i might even use it just because i know that person put the energy behind it and they were thinking of me when they got that item so don't judge me y'all don't let me know if y'all want to do this tag with me either tell me your video so i can come see you do it or and put your answers down in the comment section below okay this is crazy all right number four which ornament was the most significant to you there's quite a few ornaments that are significant to me because my mother has childhood ornaments of ours that we have handmade or that she got on the in the year that we were born. So all of those are really significant to me and they're always usually in their own separate box among their Christmas decorations. Did you have a real tree or a fake tree when you were little? I wanna say both, but for the majority real trees. Even now, we do real trees. If you have not seen that video, I think it was Vlogmas day number two. We went hunting for a, hunting, we went shopping for a real tree. So go check that out if you haven't, but yeah. We're normally a real tree type of people over here. Number six, when did you find out the truth about Santa Claus? Oof, I want to say, y'all, I'm a late bloomer. Okay, first, first and foremost, I'm a late bloomer. So I want to say it was like the end of elementary school, like fifth grade maybe. Like I was, I don't know, was it the fifth or fourth grade? And my mama was the one to break the news to me because I guess um, I was being ungrateful one Christmas and I was like, I ain't asked Santa Claus for this. I ain't asked Santa Claus for that. Mind you, we was overseas and um, like the locals had stolen all of the Christmas presents because I guess back then they were putting the actual gifts like what was in the box on the outside of the box so they had been stolen and my mom like went above and beyond like get us something to have open on christmas day and on christmas day i was opening the presents like i don't want this i ain't asked at a class for this and my little brother was apparently mimicking me so my mother politely pulled me to the side pulled me to the side and let me know ho 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 merry christmas i'm santa claus okay and you know, we're just gonna leave that there. <laughs> Do you usually, okay, number seven. Do you usually buy your pets presents for Christmas? 
yes and no like for the most part yes and then one year Rhoda didn't get anything but like stocking stuffers but she normally gets something on Christmas she normally has something in her stocking she from my parents and from David's mom like and now we have Kiwi so they'll both have something to enjoy on Christmas Day have you ever seen the tree in Rockefeller Center on TV Number nine, do you prefer giving gifts or getting gifts? Um, I prefer giving gifts because like when I be getting the good gifts or something somebody, like I know somebody will like, and to just see their expression, like how excited they are or how happy they are because of it, like nothing brings me more joy than to see someone else, like to know that I made someone else feel good or happy. All right, do you prefer gingerbread cookies or sugar cookies? Sugar cookies. I don't even fool with gingerbread cookies. Like, don't judge me. This is, don't judge me. Gingerbread houses, I'll make them. I don't eat them. Like, I don't do gingerbread cookies. Even the, like, soft kind, I don't know. It's just a weird flavor to me. I prefer sugar cookies all day, hands down. That's actually my favorite cookie flavor. It's a flavor type. I just like sugar cookies, okay. Number 11, have you ever gone caroling? Now I wasn't Girl Scouts, so maybe? I don't remember. I'm gonna say no, because as far as I'm concerned, no in my adult life. But because I was a part of Girl Scouts, I would say yes. Number 12, what is your favorite holiday song? I do not have a favorite holiday song. But I will say this, when it's holiday time, I go to Destiny's Child's, um, what's the name of that song? Oh, I wish I could remember the name of that song. It's something bells. It's like, um, sweet silver bells all seem to say, throw care away. That song by Destiny's Child, the harmony, honey. I go for it every time, but I also have specific music that I have to hear in Christmas time. I have to hear Jackson 5, Tony Braxton, Whitney Houston, Luther Vandross, you know what I'm saying? Like the boys to men, like their holiday albums, Anthony Hamilton, like I just, Mary J. Blige, I gotta hear it all, okay? Do you usually put a star or angel on the top of your tree? Neither. It's usually like something handmade that I made handmade that I made it's usually something I've handmade like a cute bow or something like that what's the best gift you you ever got from your parents oh sheesh I mean my parents have gotten me great gifts but I don't know I can't think of any off the top of my head for like specifically Christmas like my parents be coming through right like so I can't pick, I don't like, I, off the top of my head, I can't pick right now. Do you own an ugly Christmas sweater? Do I own an ugly Christmas sweater? I don't know. Like I never really got into ugly Christmas sweaters and then one year my job wanted to do them, but I don't know if I bought one. I think I do. <laughs> I think I do. Um. And if I do, I have not gone to look for it this year anyway. Okay. Next, do you open your presents on Christmas or Christmas Eve? We usually will open one present on Christmas Eve and then the rest on Christmas Day. And we usually get up early in the morning, but now that I live in my own home, me own casa, it's just, you know, whenever we get over there. <laughs> um to my parents anyways. Like me and David will open hours together, of course. And then we'll go over to my parents' house to do gifts there. Have you ever kissed someone under a mistletoe? I have not. I don't think I've ever even stood under a mistletoe, to be quite honest. Do you go to church for midnight mass? We do not, not at the present moment. I don't think, I don't ever recall ever going at midnight, but we're also like, early nighters here what's this early nighters early birds early birds like my mother was always in bed by eight or nine o'clock and she's still the same way and i like to go to bed early and yeah you know so no 
Would you prefer it to snow on Christmas or stay sunny? I would prefer it to be cold and sunny on Christmas because where I live in Georgia, it does not snow. It has, but it's very rare. So my preference is the sun be out. It's a clear sky, but it's cold as heck. So I can wear something cute, warm, and fuzzy. Um, Have you ever had your picture taken with, with a mall scent? Whoa. Have you ever had your picture taken with a mall Santa? Yes, I have. As a child, I sure have, baby. And I was cute. I'm one of those cute kids over there taking a picture with Santa. Hey. Okay. Have you ever regifted something someone gave you? Never in my life. Never have I ever. Never will I ever. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to judge y'all if y'all have. But it's just... I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, I would feel really bad to know that i know nobody else might know but i know that somebody gave me this and i'm about to give it to somebody else like i would feel so guilty do you consider yourself a grinch no do you consider yourself a grinch absolutely not <laughs> and next question which holiday song annoys you the most do i have a holiday song that annoys me the most I think I do. Like, but like I said in the last question, I'm not a Grinch. So no, no, mm -mm. Which holiday song, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just read that. Does your family drink alcohol on Christmas? Yes, we do. We participate in alcohol. Um, Bailey's and hot cocoa. You know, drink every now and then, especially when it's a big gathering. But we all know this year that's not happening. But for sure, Bailey's and hot cocoa with a Hershey kiss in the bottom, some marshmallows and whipped cream. Thank me later. Have you ever built a gingerbread house before? Of course, I will say I am the gingerbread champ. No one can beat me undefeated. You can come try if you want to and leave your feelings at the door because you're going to need them on your way out. All right, next, number 26. What was the worst present you have ever gotten? Who thinks of these things? Like, I don't, uh, bro, I wasn't raised like that. I was not raised to be ungrateful, nothing. Um, do you do your holiday shopping online or visit the actual store? Both, um, most of the time I like to do it online. Just, I don't like actually physically going in the store to go shopping. Like it, I'm an introvert, so it drains me. I'm not trying to be out there like that. I'm frustrated trying to figure out what I want. I feel like online, I can just click through, be like, oh, that's cute. And then I'll start getting ideas. I'm like, oh, I could do that, 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 that. And everything is in one place. Like I could just, on my computer, look for stuff instead of like, oh, I need to go to this store, that store, that store. So do both, but my preference is online. Do you like surprises or do you like to pick out what you're getting? What's the point? I mean, if it's something that I need and um, and it's something pricey and I know that person wants to wait until Christmas to get it for me, then that's when I'll say, okay, don't worry about it right now. Like if you want to, if you feel like waiting until Christmas, I'm okay with that. But for the most part, I prefer surprises. I like surprises. I like good surprises. Good surprises. When you were a kid, did you help your parents decorate the tree? That was a tradition in my house. That's a tradition now. I'm about to bring y'all with me to decorate my parents' tree because as y'all know, we're not having a tree in my house this year. But that's something we do as a family every year. Number 30. What does your family usually eat for Christmas dinner? The same thing we ate for Thanksgiving. Ham, turkey, mac and cheese, rice, collard greens, stuffing, like, am I missing anything? Potato salad, just, you know, whatever we ate for Thanksgiving is what we're eating for Christmas. Because we normally don't eat like that anyway, so it's kind of like those heavy meals, those two heavy meals, three counting New Year's for the year. Okay, number 31. When was the last time you built a snowman? Honestly, probably early high school when we lived overseas and it was snowing. Actually, no, was it? Was it there? It was either there, it was either overseas. I'd say like 
early high school, like ninth or 10th grade. It was either overseas or it was when we were in New York and it was snowing a little bit. And I think I made a snowman. It's a little fuzzy. What's your favorite holiday movie? Whew. I do not have a favorite holiday movie, but um, let me tell y'all something. Jingle Django. If y'all have not seen that y'all on Netflix, go check it out. I boohoo cried on that movie. Boohoo cried. I also like, this will be another video, but I also like The Preacher's Wife. Um, what else do I like to watch? There's, I got a whole video coming for y'all of Christmas movies to watch, okay? Would you ever celebrate Christmas somewhere warm like Hawaii? I have. Not specifically Hawaii, but I have, so it's not like, it's not a big deal. Like Christmas is a is a feeling. It's not necessarily like the temperature. You know what I'm saying? It's the time to like spend with family, be joyful. That doesn't matter where, like, home is where the heart is. So, yeah. Do you like the taste of eggnog? I love the taste of eggnog. I love eggnog, period. Which well, relatives, which relatives are you most excited to see on Christmas Day? I guess, um, have we ever had family really? We never really have outside family for Christmas. I mean, we have spent Christmas with outside family, outside of our immediate family. But I would say like, if I could see all my cousins and my aunties and my uncles, like, I'd be very happy with that. Even if we didn't have presents, even if we were all just together, like I'll be very happy with that. Um, do you send holiday cards? No, but I want to. And I be feeling bad every time I don't because my aunties, they be sending holiday cards and stuff. And they be keeping up the tradition. They be keeping up the tradition. And I feel like me and my cousins don't. And I think that's something that we should continue it's a nice thing i want to start taking family photos and then sending them out to the family and stuff number 39 name three cities you'd love to spend christmas in new york for sure um colorado because i just want to go to colorado and European country, just like, I don't know. I take that back. I would love to go to Trinidad because that's where my father's people from and I still have not been there. And I feel like that would be a nice getaway just around the Christmas holiday with no hurricanes. Last but not least, number four is zero. Have you ever wanted to skip Christmas? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Even when I feel overwhelmed with like trying to figure out buying presents or putting up decorations or like trying to make sure I have enough time off and then working and all that stuff, I would never not want Christmas. Like, I don't know. I like the colors. I like the music, the movies, the energy. You know, it gives people a reason to either want to be warm and fuzzy and light and send lots of love to everyone around them or some people it sends them in a dark place. But I feel like it's a time where everybody kind of wants to come together and uplift each other. So, yeah. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. That wraps up those 40 questions. Again, if you are doing this with me, or if you have your own questions that you did in a tag in your own videos, let me know in the comment section down below when your video is coming, if it's already up, or if you just wanna participate and answer some of the questions down below, I will leave the list of questions in the description box. And there's also some other goodies in there if you wanna take a peek. Thank you so much for stopping by and being here with me. I will see y'all tomorrow, bye.